Hey kids, I'm here up in the balcony at St. John's and I'm going to be on this side of the camera for a bit because I want to show you the organ here at St. John's um, and some of the cool features of it and then I'll flip around and talk about uh, why we use the organ in our church service. Um, so here's the organ and as we step up and, and look on the other side of it you see um, it looks a bit different than a piano. It has uh, two different sets of keys here and then it's got a set of keys for the chimes outside. And then it even has foot pedals that has a full scale of, of, of notes down there too. Um, so if we get in here and um, take a closer look, you see there's all of these um, you know, tabs and, and knobs and switches and, and all sorts of instructions. And you can see if we get closer, um, all of these tabs make a different sound. So you especially see over in this area things like flute, um, trumpet, oboe, and, and down the line here, and then a bunch of words we don't uh, we don't recognize either, <laughs> but organists do. So you see the um, kind of the great skill that Marsha, our organist, has to have to to play this thing. <laughs> um, pretty complicated, but obviously creating beautiful music with it. Now I'll just show you a bit. Um, well, here, I'll, I'll do it with my hand because I can't sit and hold the camera at the same time. These foot pedals, you know, they're all making music at the same time, too. So she's playing the foot pedals. She's playing, you know, up here on these keys and down here on these keys. And maybe you'll notice sometimes... Um, you know, the, the sound changes during a, a hymn or, or in between hymns. And that's because, um, you know, some of these tabs are being pulled or some of the presets are, are being reset. So you see here, for instance, on the swell, um, you get that sound. And if we flip all these tabs and put them all on, well, then you'll get bigger sound. Now I better put them all up, otherwise I don't want to get in trouble here. <laughs> and then you're back to the less full sound. So pretty cool. Um, so there's just a look at the at the organ and all these cool things. And I won't test the chimes again, but I did it. Um, if you flip that switch and do the, <laughs> the buttons, it'll play outside. But I don't want to upset the neighbors. <laughs> so I'll flip over here. And let's talk about this organ a little bit. So, um, obviously organs are, are pretty unique to a church setting, and, and that's for good reason. And, you know, over history, uh, organs have been a popular instrument in church um, really for three major reasons. Uh, one of the reasons is that it's different. Uh, the other is that it's beautiful, and the third that it, it leads congregations in singing the Word of God. So organs are different. They're not drum sets, they're not electric guitars, they're not the things you see at a rock concert. And so that kind of sets the stage here. This is a sacred place, it's a different place than the world. You know, this is, this is God's place. And so having an organ kind of gives us that sense of being different. Um, this is not a common space, it's a holy place. Not to say that any other instrument would be bad. Um, certainly, God is pleased with, with good sacred music played on all sorts of instruments. It's just that the, the organ really tells that story best because it is so unique to the church setting. Um, so if, if the organ um, is not the prominent instrument in a church, it at least should be there, <laughs> at least uh, pointing toward, uh, toward that historical fact. And then the second is, um, an organ is beautiful. Uh, we honor God with skillful and beautiful and well-played music. And you saw all the skill that it would take to play uh, music on this organ. Um, and, and we seek to put skilled organists in our churches. And if they're not skilled, to, to, uh, to teach them and help them to, to honor God um, with the beauty of, of that music. So obviously at St. John's, we thank God for both on this side, our organists, and on this side, our pianists, uh, when Marcia and Kitty 
uh, play the piano because we have two very skillful uh, musicians who honor God in that way. Now the third reason um, that, that in Oregon and in a secondary way, a, a piano are good instruments for church is because they do a good job of leading the congregation in singing. Um, a major um, aspect of, of singing in the church, and especially the Lutheran church, is that hymns are for the purpose of allowing the people to confess their faith um, through music. So um, what an organ and a, and a piano do is provides a supplement, an aid, a help for the congregation um, to sing the tunes. Now, some of the tunes in our hymnal, we know, would be pretty difficult to sing a cappella without music. So to have the organ there um, to support us as we sing, to teach us the notes, um, and then to have beautiful music right alongside our, our confession uh, is a great thing. But it, it's focused on the words on what we're learning from the hymns and what we're confessing from the hymns. Um, on top of, like we said, of course, the, the sheer beauty of music and filling this house of God where we receive his forgiveness uh, with those beautiful things. Um, so there's a, a little tour of the organ, um, a little bit about why it's here, and something for you to think about when you're listening to that uh, organ music on Sunday mornings. First, um, how complex and wonderful and a blessing it is to have an organist here, uh, but also what a blessing it is for that organ um, to be something different for us um, and to be beautiful and to lead us and guide us as we proclaim God's word.